Yes, what's going on people? Right now I'm joined by someone who's had a very, very big two years. I don't even really want to talk right now. I'm just going to let you introduce yourself. It's M. Huncho and I'm live in the flesh of Miles. Come big on. Huncho Lini. Let's go, Huncho Lini in the cut. What are you saying? Feeling positive, bro, man. Feeling good. Feeling real good, man. Obviously the tape came out on Friday. Yeah, Utopia. Man. Big look. 14 tracks. Fire. Okay. You checked in, you checked out, you kept it moving. Kept it moving, bro. The feedback's been amazing so far, isn't it? Amazing, bro. Like, fellow artists, um, fans, uh, people that genuinely support, man, and want the best for, man. Mm. And and it feels good, man. It feels very positive. The energy is very, very real. Yeah. Um, and I love it, man. You know, like that. Um, and I'm hoping that everyone keeps the same energy for other artists that do this as well. I hear that still. Now, it's one of them situations where with this like project that's mm. out. See, I look at it, I saw 14 tracks. I saw like the build-up and that, obviously the making of the mask as mm. well. Like from it changing from the ballet to the mask yeah. as well. I was thinking, I was like, why is this not an album? What's, why is this one a mixtape? I'm still in my element, bro. I'm still like, I've made album music. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the thing is, when you hear an album... Mm. Like a proper, proper album, bro. Yeah, yeah. You will know a proper, proper album. A proper, proper album Aye. is like Good Kid, Mad City, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. a good, that's a fucking absolutely unbelievable album. So where are you trying to, where's this one? Because I think this is a very, like, as an album, if you put this as a debut album, I wouldn't have bad eyelid straight away. I'd have been like, yeah, say no more. Do you know what I mean? Like, we got, we got, we got a couple, couple, couple more. Baggers. Bro, I'm on my future shit right now, man. I'm just dropping stuff, man. I'm just out here. I'm just want to be dropping bombs. That's it. Just dropping yeah. tape after tape after tape. Um, and yeah, that's 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 how I feel right now, man. That's how I feel right now, and I feel like, you know, I just need to stay focused. I hear that. Yeah, man. Now, let's talk about the recording process. Yeah. All this right now. So you're in New York, Atlanta as well. Done some stuff in London. Mm -hmm. Where else have you been? Um. I've been New York, I've been London, I've been LA, or oh, I live in London. So New York, LA, ATL, DC. Mad. Um, you know, Copenhagen, nearly everywhere in Europe. Um, Dubai. All for UAE. production of this project as well. Oh, no, no, no. This is just, this is just like, just randomly going to these places. Oh, and, just and, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> I end up making music in these okay. locations. Um, you know, and I don't go on holiday. Like, I haven't been on holiday in a long time. So every time I do fly out somewhere, yeah, yeah. it's always work related. Okay. So it's always music related, bro. And, um, you know, in terms of this tape itself, yeah. I'd say New York, London, yeah. ATL, uh, let me think. Yeah, bro, that's about it. Yeah, New York, London, and ATL, bro. I mean, thinking about that, then obviously each place is different, isn't it? Yeah. London's home, so that's that's calm. Do you that's know what I mean? calm. But New York is like London on steroids. Mad. See, I've been New York, but I went like ten years ago, so I was definitely not on. Bro, music right or now, anything. New York is like literally London, central London on steroids. So you like in the cut just making mad music when you're out there then originally when I made, went to go make check-in yeah, yeah. I didn't go there to make check-in I went there to go record the video with uh, Ghana, Ghana. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Broken Homes um, and then one day when the first day I landed I had no sleep or 20, 26, 27 hours no sleep that's long smoking fucking 3.5s in one spliff because I'm with the plug <laughs> He fuck it. He just keeps on giving me a spliff, and I'm just like, brother, like, allow it, man. By the end of it, I had like 28 grams in my system, man. What? And I just one day I heard the beat, and I just started recording, man. Yeah, just yeah. done that one track and just left. And then you know, when I when I leave mm. the studio, I always listen to the track over and over again, find okay. discrepancies, criticize it negatively, positively, find the pros, find the cons. Yeah, yeah. If we need be, we go again and we go again. So you're never leaving the studio really then, are you? Not really, Because if you see something like, how, is it one of them things for you, yeah, where it's like you make a track here and you're like, all right, cool, this this is sick, I don't need to touch it. Or you want any people that's like, I need to change that, that melody needs to be adjusted slightly. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. like that, bro. But I like doing my stuff in one take. Okay. I like doing one take. So like the check-in was one take. Uh, Tranquility was one take. Yeah, yeah that's a big song still. I like that one yeah, personally because yeah. tranquility is all all we need mm. realistically um, rock bottom was one take mad okay 
Both, or, both or, parts, the Young Bane part and your part, or just your part? Just my part. Okay, young yeah. Bane probably done his in one take as yeah, well, yeah. to be honest. Um, I wasn't, I'm not sure. I went out for a spliff quick. <laughs> <laughs> it gets like that. Um, majority, like nearly all the songs, like mm. um, the, the checkout, I made that on Christmas Eve, bro. Yeah. Right. Okay. I took my producer, Quincy, yeah, yeah my yeah. brethren, I linked him. Mm. I still got the chat on my phone where I've gone to him, yo, bro, can I get your keys? I want to go record something. Yeah, yeah. That's mad, you And know, he's right? like, oh, it's Christmas Eve, bro, but I'll give you the keys, innit? Just yeah, come yeah. collect it. I just went there and I just figured out how to use Logic and just right. recorded Checkout. So that's pretty much your own production then, still? And the or, beat is made by All What Productions. Okay, yeah. But um, in terms of, like, recording, I was the recording engineer. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, you know what? Yeah, that's just more credits when it comes to PRS, man. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Do you know like that? So recording engineer is me. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the mixing engineer was Sean D. Mm. My guy Sean. Um, so it's every every song's got its own background, bro. Yeah. Every song just 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 happened at some time where you always remember. So mm. like, look, check out was made on Christmas Eve, bro. That's mad, like. Um, but bear in mind, I make music all the time, so all these songs were selected because they're of the same mood vibe. Yeah, yeah. And they got roll off very, very well off each other. Exactly. Because um, I could have constructed a whole tape, I could have constructed like a six disc mixtape yeah, yeah, with yeah. bare tracks on each and just retired, bro. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those situations where you've got a track record of making projects in like two days. So Four yeah, I was yeah. exactly. So it's one of them situations where people expect that kind of hundred percent. But yeah, yeah. Bear, bear in mind, there are forty eight hours, bro. Yeah, mm. I made more than that. That those eight tracks. Oh yeah, naturally, naturally. I, like I even made the song with AM called Seasick in that in that forty eight hour session. What? Raw. Okay, say no more. So Fair. like, it's like Fair. He wanted to make a track and I was like, yeah, AM's hard. You know what I'm saying? Come, let's go. Like, let's quickly get it done yeah, and we yeah. do my verse. He had a track for man. What were you on? Like, because that's I just a bit, know. that's a bit I was, bad. I was on a lot of smoking, bare weed. Yeah. Then detoxing after a few hours, drinking bare lemon, yeah. lemonade and citrusy stuff to detox. A lot of water, going to the toilet every 15 minutes. Yeah, this is a bit bad still. Like, bro, how are you making that quality of music here? Yeah? You're all in this headspace and you're running bro, in and out. I write everywhere. I'll sit down on the toilet seat and I'll write, <laughs> bro. Like, yeah, yeah. I'll think of something weird to, like, or, you know, something that comes into my brain and I'll just write it down naturally bro I literally naturally write it down wherever I am bro yeah. on the plane like for example my song uh, Sorry Not Sorry featuring Park Hill my guy Park Hill yeah. I done that when I was in front of you know where um, the boarding lounge yeah on, mm. in the airport Yeah. The so just just before boarding yeah okay. I'm sitting down at the gate and I've done it without a beat. I wrote that song without a beat, without an instrumental. Okay. I wrote it just with the flow. Because the thing is, like, obviously with your flow, yeah, yeah. it's like sing rapping yeah. in a sense. Now, before, I'd never heard your voice talking like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, how much auto-tune or is it, you know what I mean, the sound, isn't it? It's not but a then lot. hearing your voice now, I'm like, there's not really that much work that's been put into it. See, the thing is about auto-tune is it's... it's People just think you can go into the studio and just use it, bro. Yeah, yeah. But it's not that deep. I mean, if I, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I feel I like mean, sorry. Rapping. I said it's not that deep, but yeah, I said yeah. it's deeper than that. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah. If you were doing it, I'm pretty sure you'll you accomplish it still. But I might hit a few people, still. people need to know how to use it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's not even just auto tune. I thought like, for me, it's, it's minimal use of it. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Um, you know, when I go to perform, I don't use any auto tune mics yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Like. I do it naturally and I would like to get to that stage where I actually perform songs on my tour with just the instrumental and mm. just my vocals, no songs, PA actually, or yeah, no PA and stuff, like actually me performing yeah. and my song, me performing my own song and then you can understand the way, you know, it, you can you can see, you can see that mm. I basically sound auto-tuned. Like, <laughs> I hear that story. I mean, it's just, it's mad thinking about that, isn't it? Because obviously a lot of people aren't going to have the opportunity to meet you yeah. and see that, innit? And see that other side. And then when it comes to production, because you've been sitting in the studio now and you know what you're doing, yeah. you're not just a person that walks into the booth, does a thing and keeps it moving. I makes... come back. Exactly. Come back. Guess where I'm going after this? I'm going to go eat and I'm just going to go straight to the, to the studio. Mad. Like, boom, bow. That's it. Exactly. I'm set. I mean, let's talk about the actual construction of the 14 tracks then as well. Yeah. So, like you said, for 48 hours, better songs got made even other songs that were, you were featured on yeah. how many songs did you make for this project and then have to cut 
Quite a few, innit? I've lost count, bro. Mad. It's just like... We've got so many songs. Mm. We just sat down and just picked out the vibes. Yeah, yeah. The, the, a mood. You have to attach a mood to your music yeah, and a vibe yeah. to your music. Um, so it's like, you know, music has been made throughout the whole two years. Mm. And I keep getting better at my craft. And that's what happens. Practice. Okay, practice yeah. makes perfect. And I just kept on going and going and going. And I've made a lot of music. And this yeah. is just the vibe that I wanted to put out. Because I've got songs that are probably going to come out that I've made before the songs that are on this tape. Okay, mad. What was the last song you made for the project? Because <laughs> it probably wasn't Check Out. It was probably something else, in it? Yeah. Let me think about this one. Uh, rock Bottom. Okay. So that's a, that's a mad concept you think about. It, that's like, what, track number four, three? Yeah. Yeah, on the project. And that's like, it's quite deep still. Yeah. Because you're talking about, you know, that's the best, you know, it's probably the best time you've had when you were rock bottom, but looking back at it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, yeah. now you're winning. Yeah. Looking at that. So why did you even make that track? I was going to ask that later, but... Bro, um, hitting rock bottom for me was the best thing that ever happened to me in yeah. every aspect. I'm talking about mentally. I was down, mm. depressed, depression, serious, a serious thing. Um, financially, you know, having a little trouble, but still being all right. You know yeah. what I'm trying to say? I've never, like, for me, like, I, obviously having money is, money makes the world go around. Mm. But for me, it was deeper than that. And when I did hit rock bottom, you know, it only made me stronger. That's why it's yeah. the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm assuming that's before even the, the get out tape. It's before my mad about bars. Yeah, it's, yeah. bro. Time ago. I'm, I'm mid 20s. Yeah, yeah. So I have a lot to talk about. Yeah, yeah. I've got a lot of years to backtrack on. Mm. Um, and, you know, I'm talking about many moments of my life, bro. People, bro, people hit rock bottom at any time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any time rock bottom can come to you, bro. You might get a phone call right now getting some sad news about your family member, God forbid. Mm. I, deem that, up, yeah. I deem that as rock bottom. No amount of money can bring that person back now. Yeah, I hear that. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So rock bottom is rock bottom, bro. Mm. For me, it made me stronger, gave me that willpower to get up and do my thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I just started... I had a sh- I don't know I just done the same thing that I always did I sold weed bro mm. just carried on doing my thing never had a clean run still was alright made a lot of money yeah yeah but you know it wasn't something you can't do that stuff for your life you can't have kids and be doing that yeah but I think now if you're thinking about it, like in the two years that you've gone through yeah it's mad. Like, I can't, I can't even think about what the next two years is going to bring for you even if you're doing it in them sections. Because you've gone from being someone who... Everyone was talking about you're mad about bars. Yeah. And everyone was talking about where you're from. Because mm-hmm. I've heard different, pe- different people say different Everyone's things. Everyone's lying. Everyone's saying... The thing is, I kind of want to know, innit? But you can tell me after the interview, innit? If you want. Yeah. Because I've heard Bengali. Nope. I've heard Afghani. Nope. I've heard Turkish. Nope. That was a delay on that one still. <laughs> that might be part of it maybe I'm, I'm a very mixed individual bro okay fair yeah, so yeah. I've got many North African as well okay okay still I'm well, thinking about yeah okay maybe I'll come over another one later still <laughs> but like you think we're moving away from obviously what we're talking about yeah, yeah. but does that annoy you in well, a sense well, that people tell me where I'm from yeah because people are just shouting me. different things out not really, because they're just idiots. <laughs> I'll be honest. Shout out to the fan base, though. Yeah, no, but it's, forget the fans. There's people out here that are actually bored and do this. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? They're I just idiots, that. because I guarantee you they don't have £20 in their pocket. Mm. The people that do that have not got more than a 1000 They have never seen £10,000 cash in their life. Mm. So I don't respect that. Yeah. I actually don't respect that. That sounded like some stagnation stuff, man. Mm. I, remember, like, I remember that guy said it still. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like, I don't even want to talk about that, because that's yeah. just... That's, so a different, that's different again. For me, it? that's the religion and music. Mm. It's not, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah, yeah. Something to, to, to mix together. That's something different, isn't it? Yeah. That's something different. But, um, bro, it's just, I don't even get annoyed. Because, mm. like, while, you, while everyone's out here just coming up with some dumb shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, talking about me, like, or saying my man's from here or my man's from here and da 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 da. Yeah, yeah. When you ask them, to call my phone and they don't have my direct number. Yeah, yeah. How? It's a, it's a bit peak still. It's a bit peak. But it's one of them situations, yeah, yeah. where with birds, let's yeah. talk about that. Now, I think that video is very significant for the whole of this, like, last build-up for the last, like, up to Utopia when yeah. it came out. First half, you're in a belly. Yeah. Then, when the beat switches, 
you switch into a mask, which you, you're wearing right now. Yeah. So obviously the making of the mask was significant. Yeah. Why did you decide to go from Bali to mask? Everyone wears a Bali, bro. Mm. Everyone wears a Bali. Bear in mind, this is a custom mask, you know. This, bro, this does. If I, if you was to wear this right now, it wouldn't fit your face. That's par. Yeah, cool. <laughs> it wouldn't fit you because it's just it's made for man. So it's yeah, just yeah. The, you, the whole works was used on it. Three D printers, face sculpting, mad. All of that. Was so, it out in Italy when they made it? Or they no, make it this here? they made it in in the UK. Okay. Um, but took it to Italy with man. Mm. And you know, when the beat changes in birds, it's just like, you know, there's a new huncho in town and I feel a bit grey. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, like, the whole beat switch, everything, yeah, like, bro, flow switch. It came out of nowhere. Mm. And like I said, it was a vibe, bro. It was a vibe. That that studio session was like 10 hours. That's long, bro. That is, from 5 p.m. to, from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. That's right. So is, was it like initially one song or two songs and then it switched or is it literally always that beat and then it you... was difficult to put two beats together that don't have yeah. the same tempo bro I'm not gonna lie when I'm DJing yeah and obviously I know that the second half I usually mix sometimes from the second half then wheel up then go to the first part yeah because it's like mixing it in and it switches it's, yeah it's a myth it's a myth bro yeah but recording or putting together two different tempos of yeah. a song into one song is very very difficult so we had to make it into the first half yeah. with the beat switches on one logic file, then the other half on the other logic file. Mad. And, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. We, had to, we had to merge it. And that's artistry, bro. Mm. That's that's what you call, you know, I mean, thinking solid. outside the box. Yeah, I mean, you definitely executed it well. I think it was a good song to start with as well, to set pace. It was just a warm-up. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a warm-up. It was just something to feed the fans, make them think that there's nothing happening. Mm. And then, boom, bow, within two months, you get slapped in your face with a tape. Yeah. Utopia, I don't know. What's the next uh, single that's going to drop? I wouldn't be able to tell you that right now, bro, because I like, I, like, I like the tape. So mm. I don't know what I, I want to do a video to. Maybe it's something that the, the fans can mention in the comments. Mm, let's do it let's see everyone who wants to listen right now make sure you start adding M Hunt Show innit cause mm. uh, I want to I wanna see I think Tranquility for me is my favourite one right now That's so cool. I kind of want to see that but it's, it's going to happen yeah I think about it like, a lot of your fans are kind of like thinking about it a lot of them are like mid 20s and under now innit so it's because obviously for a lot of people mm. when you kind of came in with like this trap wave flow in it yeah. so you got Nave Smalls who was around from like 2015 yeah. and then you and I think you two are kind of obviously you've made music together we'll talk yeah, about it in a second. all the time you lot have kind of gone in your own space innit yeah, you're not you see, really Nave for me Nave is hard yeah I think D Block Europe is hard yeah like they set levels yeah, yeah. Um, I think you your both your projects mm. so obviously D Block Europe and yeah. Utopia have probably been the standout ones for me of the year so far. What, what do you mean, D Block Europe? You know, the tape that came out, innit? Yeah, bro, the. Um, uh, you're talking about Home, Home Alone. Alone. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not going to lie to you. And hats off, because that's, that's the type of work we need. Yeah, yeah. The man, them just working. You know what? It, it shows a different side of UK like music, innit? 100%. Because obviously, I think I was watching something from you before where people think that, oh, yeah, M. Huncher's a jaw rapper. And it's like. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like that bit, innit? Like, obviously, that's become a meme now, innit? But yeah. it's one of those situations. I where... didn't plan for that to happen, by the way. Yeah, I mean, it, it worked, didn't it? Yeah, literally, like it was. It wasn't planned. Like it just, it was just a normal, serious interview with Tim. And yeah, yeah. But um, it's like that's why another reason why I had to change the mask because of the belly and the whole thing. But I just felt like I felt a bit grey, bro. Mm. I thought, let me just take this innovation, put it onto something. Yeah, yeah. Thing is, are you gonna have different different masks, though, innit? Are you going to switch it up after? Because obviously this one is right now... No, no, bro. Another project could be another mask, innit? No, this 2019, I'm feeling grey, bro. <laughs> 2019, I'm feeling grey. Yeah. Um, And yeah, man, but like you said, you're talking about Nave and, you know, when I first started, I had a lot of, uh, you know, it's always the younger fans yeah, yeah. first and it's always going to be the younger fans first. They're the ones yeah. that take it to school, show their friends, then it goes from this school to the school they're beefing. Yeah. <laughs> So on and so yeah, forth, yeah. and that's how music travels. It always yeah, always that. starts from the youth, you know, like that. Yeah. Um. So you know, over the over the last couple of years, it's gone up to where people are actually mm. taking it in. Yeah, because I feel like with the, a lot of the songs, because I'm surprised that a lot of youth even, you know get what I'm trying to say sometimes because it's so complex mm. but it's done in a way where you might not think it's complex like I say things that will go over your head but yeah, yeah. 
I mean, I can't lie. When I was listening to the project the first time, yeah. I was out. I was on holiday, innit? Yeah. So when it came out and I was listening to it, and I was like, okay, I'm listening to the beats first. I'm listening to what I can mix it with. Like, I'm listening to all the stuff like that, yeah? yeah? And I'm like, all right, cool. I'm understanding it. And obviously, I'm hearing other things we're trying to make, like, Mills like me. Yeah. Stuff like that. Talking about mortgage on the house. Yeah. Like, like you said, kids don't understand that, innit? But I think... Kids, kids, kids aren't... Forget understanding that. They aren't even taught that in school. Yeah. You know, about credit, da 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 yeah, stuff, yeah. important stuff in life, basically. There's no life experience the, in school. Just book experience. Exactly. Man don't need book experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need life experience. And Books. And street smarts, innit? Yeah. Intelligence, like, intelligence yeah, yeah. means... What does intelligence mean? Gathering information, bro. Mm. Uh, and that's what people need to do gather information that actually suits and shapes their life yeah, yeah. you know what I'm trying to say or the direction they want to go in yeah um, so it's 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 mad bro I don't even know what to say about it it's just it's just a, it's another thought for another time isn't it yeah let's talk about the tour last thing we're going to talk about tour London show got upgraded yeah to Prit Works and that's on the 1st of May isn't it and you're coming right and I should be coming if say I can secure them. tickets I'll come you're, you're on the GL my guy alright say no more innit but like that is going to be a madness in itself because obviously at first it was what the electric innit it, it was, was the electric ballroom first and then obviously just that got sold out like yeah 3,000 people I think is Prit Works isn't it something mad 3.5k bro Three, yeah that's mad that's a lot of people bro. Yeah, yeah my first venue was like I think it's like one. Was it my first ever venue in London or my first headline show was yeah. about 380 people. Where was that? Um, Borderline. That's in Tottenham Road or somewhere, isn't it? Some, all I know is Wingstop is local to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know. That's mad. So what's the plan for the, the talk? Because it starts this week, isn't it? I'm trying to make it into experience. It starts on Saturday. I'm trying to make it into experience for everyone that's coming. Yeah. Especially for the main cities, obviously. I wish I could do it for all of them. Yeah, yeah. But... This is something that, like I said, it's a, it's, just, it's a learning curve. You need to work on it, and it just takes more hard work. So, um, yeah, bro, I'm just looking forward to shelling it down and yeah. just uh, being around positive energy and just, you know, staying focused and just working, man. Just going there, shelling it down, yeah. bringing out some special guests as well. Yeah, I mean, some of the people you work with, I'm assuming they're going to come on stage, so it's going to be sick. Yeah, some of them are, yeah. Mm. Definitely, definitely. Um and even some people that I haven't worked with might come on stage, you know what I'm trying okay. to say? So uh, it's just, um, it's, you know, for me, it's, I don't have to make a song with you for me to feel you. Do you get it? Mm. I don't have to make a song with you for me to be your fan. Yeah. Do you get it? I, I'm, I've taken in UK music a lot since I've been in the scene. Before that, I never used to take it in, but now I just feel like I've gotten to that moment where... I like UK, I got a lot of love for UK music and UK artists and, you know, the, the way they're, they're going, you know, for me, I don't have to make a song with you for me to say, think that your music is hard or bring you out on stage. Yeah. yeah. No way. I don't have to do that. I mean, it's going to be a madness. It is. It's going to be an absolute madness, bro. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. And I'm hoping that you're there as well, man. I mean, you might see me. I'm really at the back. I'm kind of tall, so I can't be in the front. So, you know, you so, might not see my face. How tall, how tall are you? Six three. Say nothing. So, yeah, I might be at the back still chilling, but I'm going to be there. Yeah, you speak to the right man. people, get it set up. Come on, man. Come through, <laughs> man. Come through. But Utopia is out right now, so make sure you go and support that. M. Huncho is in the building. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me, bro, man. Thank you.